Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're playing around with the new Helix 2.9 update and the Rev Gen Purple. guitars, metal riffage, mixing, and everything in between, hit subscribe and follow along. All right, so guys, let's go over this tone. This is the Purple Rev. Some nice updates to 2.9, like little buttons. I don't know, buttons are nice. So the input gate is on, default threshold of negative 48. The decay is 10 milliseconds per usual for me. Then I have a Scream 808, gain is at zero, tone is at nine, level is at 10. Real original, bro. I have a second noise gate here, it's not on. Then we have the Rev Gen Purple. I have the drive set to five, bass set to 2.3, the mid is at 6.5, treble is at six, presence is at 7.4, the channel volume is all the way up, that's something you're gonna need to tweak depending on your setup. The master is at five, which is the default. The resonance is at one. The aggression is set to zero. Sag is at 6.5. Hum is at 4.2. Fi uh, ripple is at five. Bias is at five. And bias X is also at five point. Oh, bias X is at 5.5. Excuse me. Now, the IR I'm using is an own hammer. One of my tried and true go-tos, the OH412 Trad V70. 121-00. That means nothing to most of you. I have the low and cut low. I have the low and high cut off. Then we're going to an EQ block, a low and high shelf to be exact. The low gain is negative one. The frequency is set to 650. The high gain is plus two dB at 2K. Then the level is at zero. Then we're running into a room reverb. Decay is 4.5, pre-delay 11 milliseconds, low cut at 117, high cut 3.7K. The mix is at 17%. Running to the, uh, the next path. I have, a, I have a delay and a reverb here. I was playing around with uh, like a solo type of tone. So those are off for this track. And then I have a final EQ where I believe I am simply, the only thing I did here is cut a bit of 4K. So I am cutting 2 dB at 3.9K and the Q is set to 10. And I am also doing the high and low cut here. So the high cut is 17K and the low cut is 100 Hertz. So that's it. I know I got a few extra blocks here because again, I was messing around with some sort of lead tone with this. For all intents and purposes, we got the distortion block, the amp block, the IR, EQ, room verb, EQ, six blocks. 
six blocks. You can minimize this by all means. If you guys liked this tone, it is going to be available to my members in for April. I am doing monthly Helix tones. This is the next one. A bunch of members, new members of mine. Hey guys, thank you. Pre I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and I kind of was talking to them during the live chat that we had today. It was between this and the new bass tone. They wanted this, so this will be available for April's Helix patch. All appropriate links down below in the description, including links to my music. And if you dig what I'm putting down, hit subscribe and follow along. So that's the tone, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I know you will. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, you know, all of that. If you do it, I'll stop. I'll stop saying it. It's pretty simple. Thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate you. Thank you to those of you who are helping me and supporting me over on Patreon and my new members here on YouTube. If you're looking for other ways to support me in the channel, I do have music for sale. It is available on Bandcamp. And of course, it's streaming everywhere music is streamed. Thank you to my new members here on YouTube. And of course, my longtime supporters over on Patreon. I had a nice time talking with everybody today during one of our live sessions. Your support means the world to me. I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe. Don't forget to wash your hands. I think I'm going to stop saying that. It's not even, like, useful at this point anymore. Anyhow, thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope you're doing well. We'll see you in the next one.